what you can see with your eyes is not real. So I literally no longer think a negative thought in my head or a belief about myself. All right, what's up guys? It's your boy Kevin, Young Neezy back at it again with another banger we're just gonna get straight into it i'm not here to waste your time shout out to the smoke nation and if you're new shout out to you so if you're watching this video chances are you are probably on your second awakening or there's a second awakening coming in your life into your reality so obviously we all know what happened in the first awakening that's where i kind of blew up on the internet for the first time i don't know if that was the first time i ever blew up on the internet it was probably like the third time but that's basically the first awakening is realizing the matrix realizing the scams realizing the hacks realizing the narcissists realizing the demons the reptilians realizing antarctica realizing nasa realizing <clears throat> the moon landing realizing nine conspiracies they're all true I mean, that's the first awakening is that everything you see with you that you can see with your eyes basically is fake. And I believe Hermes, aka Thoth, aka Hermes Trace Maj Thrice Great, was the one who said it's actually the pinned comment on my Twitter page, even though I'm shadow banned on Twitter, whatever. It says. Things you can see with your eyes are mere phantoms and illusions. The things that the eye cannot see, those are the only things that are real. And what are those things the eyes cannot see? You can't see electricity. You use that every day. You can't see air. Go ahead and try stop breathing for 30 seconds. You're, you're dead. Um, you can't see heat, you know, what you cook with it. I mean, I guess you can see some flames here and there, but you know what I'm talking about. You can't see radio waves, but you can tune to any radio you want. And there's sound coming for some reason out of it, out of your speakers when you turn on your AM and your FM. Okay, these you can't see light, but you can see what light is reflecting. Basically, there's only four or five things that that can actually be messed with in this 3D reality. And that's radio waves, that's light, that's um, electricity, and you know, electrons and photons basically are what can be manipulated in this reality. And that is how they control us, sound waves, electromagnetic. Anyways, I'm going off a tangent here. <clears throat> what you can see with your eyes is not real. So do not rely on your eyes for the truth all the time. Yes, they work. 80% of the time, you, you can basically see the truth with your eyes, but sometimes the truth cannot be seen with your eyes. You need to feel it. You need to really, you really need to get it. And that's on a fifth dimension thing, which, you know, the eyes are more of a third dimension thing. But anyways, that conspiracy is waking up, flat earth, waking up, poly, poly tricks, waking up, wars, oil, uh, Fake X um, <clears throat> is the same as fake moon landing, fake electric car, fake free energy, everything fake. Cars can run on water, but we're not doing that for some reason <clears throat> because of the scam matrix. Welcome. You wake, you've woken up to that and you were pissed and that's why I blew up. I was pissed and I had to help other people wake up and that's how my channel blew up for the first time. But now we're going to blow it up again for the second time because why? It's time for the second awakening, everybody. Shout out to the Smoke Nation. Please subscribe to this channel because we're blowing up again. Like they took my channel down on YouTube the first time. Susan Wojcicki, you think I forgot about you? I haven't. I'm trying to take down, take my, you know trying to take my gangsta offline but we're back all right smoke nation is back and we're going to be uploading a lot more <sighs> anyways smash the likes anyways the second awakening right now is realizing that all your thoughts emotions and feelings have been basically controlled through all the programming from the matrix and everything that was brought into you the second awakening basically is realizing you, this the, the new reality after the second new reality. So 
there was a third density it's like oh great i can see through the third density i can see through the scam so you you then were in the fourth density because you could see through everything you kind of had an ego you're like i'm 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 woke not not left woke but like i, I can see through everything so I'm on the fourth dimension and you guys are on the third dimension. It kind of gave you this little ego, but it wasn't even about that. That's why we're entering into the fifth dimension. Now that we, we realize where we are in our habitat and where we came from, which was not here. We're not from here. None of us are. All right. I'm going to keep my hands on so I can grind up this tree. But basically, your, your emotions and your feelings and your thoughts have been on autopilot from whatever you see, from whatever they've been putting on the algorithms to feed you from whatever has been on the TV. I know people don't watch TV, but you know what I mean. Whatever is being bombarded and thrown in your face through the music, through the arts and the culture, whatever the people like, the controllers want you to think, believe, behave, uh, seek and do. That's what people are running on. And they're doing it in the third dimension. They have no idea why they even do what they do, why they buy or like what they like. And it's usually, and the way they feel, the way they feel about certain situation, it's all because someone had told them and programmed them to think and feel and act in that way. And all of these think, all these thoughts and feelings are pretty much designed to keep the people in power at the top and defend them. You know, it's kind of like Stockholm syndrome. But obviously, we're out of that, and now we're in the fifth dimension. All right. The vibrations have changed. Now you vibrate higher. You no longer think. You don't. When a negative emotion or a negative thought comes into your head, you don't. You don't even pay it any mind. It like it's not an issue. You redirect that thought. You catch that thought and you make it a good thought instead of saying I hate this. You say, you know what? I may not like that, but I actually really love this. So I'm gonna think about this and I'm gonna go instead of eating this thing that I don't really like because of this topic. I'm going to actually just go get this and not use that topic or taste that because I want to taste this anyway. You know, it's the same thing. You can mix out like food, you know, you could do situation scenarios, women, chicks, whatever, boyfriend, girlfriend, relationships. Anyways, I literally no longer think a negative thought in my head or a belief about myself whether it be for self-esteem whether it be for the my future whether it be you know feeling anxious i try not to feel anxious i i, I everything in my head that is kind of low vibrational third dimensional i try and turn it around to the fifth dimension and bring things higher up in frequency and it's been working and things have been manifesting correctly due to this change Welcome to the fifth dimension. And since you're, you've been watching this video because it's been manifested to you, you are also on your way to break out into your second awakening. And I, I just gotta say, it's really, it's really fun and I love it up here. I don't really wanna take too much more of your time. I grinded up this tree. We're gonna pack some of it in the smoke pipe and we're gonna smoke it. But now no one controls you. No one controls your thoughts. No one controls your emotions and no one controls your feelings and you don't want to control anyone else's either. That's not it's not about it was the name of the game was control for these elites and these scammers and these hackers and these pedos. But that's not the game we're playing. here. That's a third dimension. That's a third density thing. We're up here looking down on that on that clown show. And we don't play by those rules. We just keep it. We just keep it gangsta. We keep it G. We keep it a thousand. If someone needs help, we help them. If someone's feeling some type of way, we get them out of that rut. Just like we would want to have someone do for us. And you know, you actually actually being in the fifth dimension, you get another. You get you get your relationship back with your higher power, with your with your God, with your universe with your source you guys are back you know being best friends again and everything is good <clears throat> when you have a problem you don't have to ask a person you can just go straight to the source and get the answer sometimes source gives you the answer sometimes god gives you the answer 
through other people. But sometimes you still have to go direct to the source and ask them just to make sure what you saw was true, what you heard was true, what you felt was true. And that's the fifth dimension, y'all. Welcome to the second awakening. It's great to see you here. It's great to have you here. There's going to be a lot of big things happening for you and for us. So I'm excited. Please subscribe to the channel. If you want a smoke pipe, you have a couple days to get it. And um, peace and blessings to you all. Oh, shit. Cheers. I'll see you on the next one. Keep the vibes high. Keep the smoke going. Peace and love. See y'all on the next one.